This video is about edges. They are used when you want to provide shadows, but still be able to see most of the map art underlying, which are statues, boxes, trees, large rocks, are all good examples of where you might wish to use an edge instead of a wall. Edges are drawn and managed exactly like walls are. Most edges are open. Cross hatching X style is great for bushes and trees. Try not to overdo it. Too many edges can actually detract from your scene. Edges are drawn in green lines. And I will demonstrate that in the next section right now. Here's an example of an edge. So as you can see, we have a interactive map. Even though the token has a light source, you can see the light source actually going all the way around, but it's not penetrating this area because we have not turned this green active into inactive. So if we go here, is now allowing the light source to pass through it. And if you can look, see how we have a happy little tree here. But the thing is, you can still see through it. It's very transparent, even though there's an actual object on the map, it's still not showing up as it is intended. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to draw. We're going to make sure that our edge is highlighted here. What we're gonna do is we are going to create X, which is this. And close that out. Now if you look, now that I've done that, even if I move the token all around, oh I forgot to assign ownership to it, hold on. Oh, let me uh, get out of the map mode here, I'm going to assign ownership, click OK, and I assigned it to the wrong banner. Click OK, now I can move it around. Now if you look, this actually creates a an effect. Uh, see it's even asking me, hey do you want to open this inside mask. I'm like, nope, nope, no thanks. So now, as you can see, as I move it all around the tree, <clears throat> I cannot get past the tree and it does create a blind spot. And that concludes edges.